We're going green this morning on Sunrise. We're talking recycling and what can go in your blue bin and what really should not. And joining us this morning, we have current Public Works Manager Chuck McGee. Chuck, thanks for coming in. Well, thank you. Okay, so I told you a couple minutes ago, I have been on my husband for like a decade. Like bl a plastic shopping bags can't go in your recycling bin. True plastic, or false? True, that's the, very true. The plastic bags, don't do it. Don't plastic, put it in the blue bin. Keep them out. And you know, the one people don't think about is everybody uses those nice garbage bags mm -hmm. to put the recycling in. Oh. And then they put it in a blue bag. That bag is designed not to come apart. That makes it very difficult to get it open, and that bag's not recyclable anyway. So we're trying to get people to realize, don't put the bag in either. Okay. Just put the material right into the blue can. What, what happens if you put all of your recycling into a plastic bag like that and put it into your blue bin? Is it gonna get recycled at all? It will, they'll, they'll go through it, okay. but you've just made the job a lot harder right. and a lot more expensive for them to try to get that material separated out. Okay. Because recycling is easy if you separate, it's when it's combined and it mm -hmm. doesn't go together, it makes it impossible. All right, so what are some other really common things that people put in their blue bins that shouldn't go there? Uh, a lot of things they think go in there, are like a, a garden hose. They think, oh, a garden hose has got to be recyclable. A garden hose is made not to be recyclable, really. It's very durable, doesn't recycle okay. well. Those cartons that you put your milk in, the Any, cardboard milk one, like these? they're wax coated. That they seem cardboard, cardboard, right? But yeah, you think, I got a piece of cardboard, that's recyclable. No, no it's not. Other things that they put in there that really shouldn't go in there, and it's strange because this is stuff that's changing, is the pizza boxes. Everybody goes, where's my pizza box go? Well, pizza boxes are contaminated with grease. It doesn't go into the cardboard anymore. Okay. Now it goes into the green one. Okay. Because it is compostable, this is not recyclable as cardboard anymore. Okay. And the one thing we really push to get people to stop doing is putting batteries in the blue thing. Batteries are recyclable. Not like that they're not. Okay. And we, we constantly now are telling people those power drills and all those new cool tools you've got that have mm -hmm. a battery hooked to it, never ever put those batteries in your trash, blue can, or anywhere else because those are lithium ion mm -hmm. batteries. And you've probably seen stories about Teslas that have lithium right. ion, but they will catch on fire. They'll catch on fire in the MRF. We've had MRFs that have burned to the ground, oh, landfill wow. fires. They're very dangerous. Make sure you take those okay. to the special waste. All right. What about things that are like dirty, honestly, like a glass jar or a plastic jar that had peanut butter in it? We really like them to be clean, but it doesn't affect the recyclability. It won't of it. affect it. It can still no. get recycled. It can still get recycled. Okay. Even it's if just, it's still got yogurt or peanut butter or whatever it had in it. It will still recycle. Okay. I thought it, I thought it wouldn't. So there you go. Learning we, something new this morning. We try to get you to clean them. Okay. But it, <laughs> it it would make the job easier. Yes. What about um, if they have plastic labels on them? I always heard that the labels have to come off before they can be recycled. Some things yes, some things no. Okay. Plastic labels are not recyclable because they're a thin plastic that has to okay. come off. So if it's like a, a, an envelope that's got that plastic thing inside of oh, it, yes. that's not a recyclable it's piece. Not recyclable. But they'll still recycle it because when they shred it, that will come back off okay. and we'll use a separator to get it off. The cleaner you can make the material going into the blue cart, the higher probability of it being recycled and being recycled well. Okay. Do we need to look on the number on the bottom of our plastic items to know if it can go in our blue bin or not? If it's got a number on your plastic item, it can go in the blue bin. It's Any that number? simple. One through seven, put them in there. One through seven. Yep. Higher than seven though, don't put it in there. They don't have anything in there. It's okay. like, like you see a big wheel, a kid's toy, uh -huh. that plastic uh -huh. doesn't recycle but it doesn't have a number on it either. So okay. that's that's an easy way to tell. If you see that little triangle with a number in it, it goes in the blue card. Okay, great. And then last but not least, uh, what about food scraps? Where do we put those? Food scraps should go into the green can now. Green can, okay. Now when we say food scraps, we're talking organic food. We're not talking meat and chicken and mm. that kind of thing. That's a protein, it's not an organic that goes in the green can. So that's a little tricky trying to get people to understand organic food is if you've got a leftover salad you're not eating, right in the green can. Okay. If you've got a leftover piece of steak, why would you have that? But, don't, <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't go in the green can. Okay. All right, Chuck McGee, thanks so much for coming in this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you.